Let's continue on with our study of the uh, natural minor scale. Here's one uh, in A minor, A natural minor, or A aeolian. Uh, it's, uh, I know it as the Afghani women's zikr. Uh, it was brought to us by Zuleika, who many, many, many years ago traveled through the women's circles in Afghanistan and uh, I think this is where she picked up this melody from, from the women there. This is, you know, m many, many years ago, decades ago. <clears throat> so, and you write down this melody. And um, this melody uses one of the great spiritual phrases uh, that we have, very important to the Sufis and the Muslims. And uh, La ilaha. Il Allah Hu. La ilaha il Allah Hu. Translation of it is, there's several ways of translating this. There is no God, you know, with like with a small g, but God, with a capital G. And Hu means the essence. Uh, another way of looking at it is uh, with a little bit of a Buddhist perspective. Uh, there is no reality, small r, but the absolute reality, capital A, absolute, capital R, uh, reality. There is no reality but the absolute reality. So, uh, you know, the, you know, one of the meanings of it is, uh, don't, uh, don't, uh, lose your perspective, um, thinking that, you know, uh, you're, uh, small point of view really uh, can embrace the totality. It's always the uh, waking up into the fullness of this existence that we are striving for. La ilaha il Allah hu. It's a very beautiful mantra. So, okay. Here we are in A minor. I'm going to start uh, playing the melody on the fifth string, okay? Five, let me see, back up a little bit so you can see the neck. Five, four, flat seven, flat six, five, five, four, flat three. Thank you. 
try the, before I forget, let's do uh, the inside two strings. Five, four, flat seven, flat six, If I said gave the definition of who, who is the great sound uh, of the very essence of the divine? Who, who? So that signifies the the sound. The sound is the essence of of the totality, absolute reality. I love Also try it like in the in the key of C. You know, put the capo over there, and try to try to just transpose this into a different key. Uh, you know, women's voices work very nicely uh, in A. You know, men's. You know, men and women kind of meet together. Uh, you know, with the capos in C. It all depends on the melody. These are just rough ideas. So, uh, men have a harder time singing in the open G. It's kind of low for the men. And the sisters don't like going down there that much either. I mean, there's wide variety in human voices. But the reason that I teach you these melodies by numbers is, you know, you might have more women in the circle, you know, with you at one time, more men in the circle. So you become sensitive to the sound of the group and you, you make the adjustment with the capo higher or lower as you need to accommodate the voices that are, you know, participating with you. And so that's why it's better to learn uh, this music by numbers, the way I'm teaching you, uh, rather than by learning it in alphabet soup. Alphabet soup is more complicated to translate 
It doesn't mean by any means that I don't know my alphabet soup, but I have p put everything into this number system uh, so I have much greater flexibility and I don't have to do a lot of translating and a lot of thinking about what's going on. Okay, thank you.